It is one of the most pressure-filled positions in all the professional sports where with one swing of the foot, you can become a hero or suffer incredible disappointment. And that is the possibility of facing two kickers for Sunday Super Bowl down in Miami. And a man that knows the pressure of kicking field goals with the game on the line is Matt Stover, a two-time Super Bowl champion, holder of five NFL records, including most consecutive points after a touchdown, 469, most consecutive games with a field goal, 38, most points by a player in his 30s, oldest player to participate in the Super Bowl and score at just over 42 years of age, and sixth leading scorer in the NFL and history there, over 2,000 points. Matt, welcome to 100 Huntley Street. Hey, thanks, Craig. Appreciate the introduction. I didn't even know some of those. That's great. <laughs> well, you were a model of consistency. So why did you choose to be a kicker? I mean, that's a pressure-filled position. Well, you know, God, God had a plan for me. Uh, you know, I was a great athlete uh, growing up in Dallas. I was a football player first before I was a kicker. Let's realize that. Okay. <laughs> but, <laughs> so I ended up uh, as a wide receiver uh, and a punter, uh, primarily my sophomore and my junior year in, in high school. But then I just loved to kick, and I was really good at kicking, and I didn't kick field goals until my senior year. Uh, so Louisiana Tech took a chance on me, and I was able to be a uh, – a field goal kicker for them, even though I have the most punts ever in an NCAA game. How about that? Yeah. You know how many I had in one game? Wow, that's that is you know that's amazing. I, yeah, I had 16 punts in one game. So yes, I I was a punter. <laughs> the offense obviously was struggling that day. It was a bad day, <laughs> but uh, you know, and and I was a soccer player. I was a pump pass and kick champion in 1979. You know, the, it just happened that uh, I, I had a passion for it. Nobody ever had to tell me to go out and kick a football, uh, and I loved it. And it was my way of getting the ball. Uh, I, I think the number, one of the biggest traits a kicker needs to have is the desire to get the ball. Um, hey, coach, give me the ball. Give me the ball. I want it. And In fact, when they used to get first downs and it was third down in field goal range, I used to get mad. I, you know, I wanted the field goal. <laughs> you know, give me the ball. But uh, and, 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 and as it turned out, that was the only way I was going to be able to do it at a high level. You know, I was fast, but I wasn't that fast. I was big, but not that big. And, and so it, it, it pretty much uh, got me into that uh, in a way because of my physical abilities and, and God had a plan for it. So you go on to university, have a great career. You're drafted to the NFL. You win two Super Bowls, one with the Giants and one with Baltimore. But for you, Matt, something a little more important, and that is your relationship with Jesus. How did that all come about? Well, you know, I was, grew up in a, in a church all the way through high school. My mom was faithful, uh, and we went. But it was more of an open-door-closed relationship. When it was Sunday, I would open the door. When it was Monday, I would close the door. You know, I knew about Christ, I knew about God, but um, I didn't have a personal relationship with him. So when I got all my success in the NFL, all the way through college, and uh, finally I got into the NFL, and I found out that this NFL was just a really hard, hard job. It was brutal. Um, all my identity was wrapped up in it, and it was coming crumbling down in 1992. I had a bad season. I was injured a little bit. I still kicked, but I had a lot of pain. Uh, I had just gotten married in 1991. And, uh, you know, it was just tough. It was just really tough season. And God took me down to my knees. You know, sometimes you got to take you low to bring you back up. Yeah, that's true. Uh, and man, let me tell you, I was down and I had missed a 19 yard field, field goal to tie the game against the Houston Oilers. <laughs> Humiliating moment in my life. And I go down on my knee and I said, Lord, help me. And um, at that point, I didn't realize that he had a plan for me because in February of, of 1993, because that was uh, December of 90 uh, of 92, um, I actually went down on my knee uh, at the Pro Athletes Outreach uh, when Ken Hutchison, finally, I understood the gospel because uh, uh, he had really, uh, God had really prepared my heart. He humbled me. He brought me uh, to an understanding, and, and I received that gospel. And, and I was, thank God, it, my life has never been the same since. And we, we just have a few seconds, Matt, but since playing football in over two decades, I mean, that's amazing in the NFL, playing into your 40s, so Tom Brady's not the only one. Uh, but you have been very involved in your community in Baltimore and also with professional athletes. Oh, very much so. Uh, the pro, I've created the Players Philanthropy Fund, uh, this is a donor advice fund that I actually assist professional athletes, celebrities, and others uh, to actually, they house their foundations inside of my 501c3. 
and I do all their back office work for them. I, I saw that a lot of these people didn't know what they were doing. They didn't understand compliance. And so what I do is I team up with them and I make sure that all the administrative and compliance pieces are all taken care of for them and their, their brand doesn't get tainted because of it. And I tell you, their financial advisors, their agents, their mothers, their fathers, anybody who's working with them or for them loves it. Well, thank you, Matt. I appreciate it. You're doing a great job. A quick prediction, Chiefs or 49ers? Well, well, let me tell you something, Craig. The 49ers are rolling, and I've won two Super Bowls with great defenses, and I've lost one with a very good offense, but a you know middle of the road defense with the, with the Indianapolis Colts in my last game uh, in in 2009. And, it, it, and I'm going to tell you, the defense really does matter because you saw what they were able to do to Aaron Rodgers this past. Oh, week. they were all 49ers over. 49ers look strong. Yeah. Even though that Kansas City has the number one offense and they're looking great. No, I'm, I'm going to go with the defense. Okay. Well, we'll see what happens. Hey, Matt, thank you so much. Thank you. And we'll have more of 100 Huntley Street right after this.